Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are gonna try with the app services with specific to backup. So I have already running an application, uh, which is a web application. This is app service. And if I just go back here, I have an option called the backup. So what happens with the backup and how I can take the backup, I'm gonna show you here. So with the backup, basically it's gonna work with the snapshots automatically. It will take based on the periodic uh, points so that your web application will uh, come up with that snapshot let's say you are doing some kind of changes but uh, in between if something goes wrong uh, you will be protected with that snapshot uh, if you, if at all you want to you know uh, restore it so you can simply configure so this is where you can actually configure uh, your backup uh, snapshots so for doing that you need to actually integrate with your storage account because these data will go and store in your storage account so i'll just click on the storage account then it will list my all the storage account and I can select the storage account post to that it is gonna ask you to create a container if there's no container in any case so in my case I don't have a container since it's a demo one so I can give it here as a container for my backup so I can give this container name and as we talked in the previous lectures with the storage account we did talk very in depth about the public access level either private with anonymous or blob level for anonymous for only the blobs or for the container with the anonymous also so in our case it's going to be private and click on create so this is going to actually create the container inside this so within this container it's going to select the backup for us and coming to the backup schedule i can click on on so that every day it's going to take a backup of one or i can select for every one hour basis on a specific time window uh, where it's going to start the window for taking the backup and these backups can be retentioned up to 30 days if i want and i can uh, keep the latest one backup all the time and if i want to include even my sql database backup also all i have to do is simply take this checkbox that would actually enables and configures for us the backup if you see here we got error because our service plan does not allow more than 10 backups uh, any day so i can take it here uh, maybe in daily basis something like that and then i can take uh, backup every one day and click save that's going to actually allow me to take the backup if you have configured your service plans the app service plans are higher then you should be able to take the backup and you see here the current backup is already going on and uh, within this application now you have a different backup uh, which is running in case if i want to restore i can simply select my backup and then click on restore that's going to restore the backup so that's how it's going to work and you can see here the uh, backup id and the status it is currently in progress and the timestamp so that's how you can configure the backup and backup is very important um, for your web applications because you also taking the backup of your sql server or the backend whatever it is available so that way you are fully protected i hope this lecture is useful for you and you know how to take the backup now and restoration thank you